Man, if someone told you there was no such things as profits, well, somebody lied to y'all. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another review video. Yes, that's right. I did not miss words there. Because um, technically, I have heard this before. This is coming from a gentleman all the way back in 1965. A gentleman who goes by the name of Paul Harvey uh, read this speech called, If I Were the Devil. Now, we're going to hit this up because uh, a lot of the things, if not damn near everything he says in this speech, tell me it, it'll be sounding like today's current climate, if you know what I mean. So, all right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get right into this thing by, uh, well, we ain't going to be liking to hear, but we're going to hear, here go. Let's do it. If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. We we only getting started, y'all. But yo, tell me this ain't this ain't giving you those those eerie vibes. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Let's go. V. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. Right. Do do as you please. Do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying. And tell me that some of these churches don't be corrupt. You know what I mean? Always wanting to collect, you know, what many perceive as the root of all evil. But again, it's not the physical item itself that is the root of all evil. It's, it is the love of the money that is the root of all evil. Greed. One of the seven deadly sins. Bruh, let's go. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. And tell me there's not a lot of people that, that tend to believe. Yeah, man created God. You know, the Bible, it, you know what I mean? It's written by man and whatnot. So, you know, don't believe what you read. Tell me you don't hear that narrative nowadays. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. Mm -hmm. That temptation talk, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're one of those goody two-shoes, huh? You're one of those square bears. Hey, nothing wrong with being a square bear, you know what I'm saying? Being a square bear, you know what I mean? It just proves just how smart you are, you know what I mean? Bro, let's go. In the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in... How to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle not. Yeah, tell me we. Hey, man, this thing being accompanied by some eerie piano music, too, man. Kind of make, make me a little uncomfortable here. But yeah, man, a lot of what. There, there's a lot of NC-17 rated movies. There's a lot of R rated movies. You know what I mean? With, you know, some very suggestive scenes. And then, of course, you know, we got um some very questionable movies. You know what I mean? That I've never seen. Like, you know, something about two cowboys. You know what I mean? Being up on a certain mountain. Narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. So I peddle narcotics to whom I could. I sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. You know what I mean? Those who um, live that, you know, that very, um, that very nice lifestyle that a lot of us try to live for. You know what I mean? Like the elite group of folks, bruh, bruh. And then tranquilize the rest with pills. What is it that doctors like to to give you for your? mental issues and whatnot they give you little pills if i were the devil i'd soon have families at war with themselves churches at war with themselves and nations at war with themselves and families at war with themselves 
family arguments, family disputes, you know what I mean, over I, I, ideology differences, you know, value differences, you know, you, you, you can't agree on everything, you know what I mean? So boom, you, you know what I mean? You're you're in a in a dispute with your own family. Churches at war with themselves. I mean, tell me, I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of Christians out there, you know what I mean, that, that be having, you know, arguments and, and disputes over, you know, uh, <clears throat> over, again, the uh, beliefs, you know what I mean, that, that's being, from things that's being taught to them, whether it's it's the preacher that, that's preaching to them, you know what I mean, or the things that they're reading about in the Bible, you know what I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of disputes on how it should be interpreted, how these things should be interpreted. Nations at war with themselves. Who's at war right now? Until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. Mesmerizing media fanning the flames. What is it that the media is doing right now? And has been doing for so long. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions. Just let those run wild. And neglect discipline? Just let them run wild? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me go back to what else he said. <clears throat> I would encourage schools to be refined young intellects, but neglect the discipline emotions and just let them run wild. Just let them, just let them eat cake. And just let those run wild until before you knew it you'd have to have drug sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door within a decade i'd have prisons overflowing i'd have judges promoting pornography soon i could evict god from the courthouse then from the schoolhouse and then from the houses of congress and what is it that they try to do with the national anthem? They try to take God out of the national anthem. I mean, they're already pretty much take, taking God out of the schools. Bruh. Bruh. This is some scary, scary stuff, man. And this was done back in 1965. I'm sure people back then, they probably thought, man, dude, you, you, you are crazy. There is no way this country... Is gonna go that way. Now I bet you everyone that's listening to this or has heard this, they're probably thinking, "Dang, damn, is, is that dude from the future? How, how 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 did he know all these things were gonna happen?" In the houses of Congress and in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls. And church money. Catholic priests. You hear a lot of stories about them doing things with little boys. And not just the Catholic churches, but the Christian churches as well. Again, a lot of these churches, you know what I mean? With this over excessive need for money. And where does that money go? They say, oh, it's for the church. But is it for the church, really? If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. If I were the devil, I would make the symbol of Easter an egg. So these Easter eggs, the Easter rabbit, these are all tools from the devil. Man, and he said that as the devil will make the, uh, or he'll rather make the um, symbol of Christmas a bottle. Bruh, that is insane. And then he said he would take, <clears throat> if, if he were the devil, he would take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. Bruh. How many people you have out there, you know what I mean, that would rather take from somebody else, right? Not work and just have stuff handed to them because they feel so. What is it? Um, 
overly entitled rather than getting off of their asses and going to work and earn the things they want. And what will you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. Like Nevada, California, and then, uh, man, I had another state. I know that there, there's another state that's now starting to put up, um, like, uh, casinos and whatnot. I just can't think of it right now. But anyway. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun. Convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, swinging is more fun. That what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Whew. Now, I don't know about y'all, man, but that definitely sends some chills down my spine. It... Like I said, I, I don't, I can't recall how many times I've heard this, man. But every time I hear it, though, it just, I can't help but be, but be creeped out, man. But because I mean, look where we're at right now in the world. You know what I mean? Look where, look where we're at right now with our country and all these things that are going on in our, in our country. All this corruption that's going on in our country. All tools of the devil. You look at stores like, like, like Target. You know what I mean? And the whole. LGBTQ, you know, dress wear, and then they have a clothing line, a satanic clothing line in their stores from someone that is an open Satanist. Bruh. Bruh. Anyways, y'all, that was Paul Harvey with the If I Were the Devil speech that was given way back in 1965 feel free to share your thoughts <clears throat> in the comment section down below i'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say and uh yeah y'all know the deal if you're feeling the vibes over here you want to help your boy out do all the youtube thing things i'll be very much appreciated till next one y'all bless one peace jason jv on youtube uh what's up with you jason jv what up jason jv and just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Bass. I just want to have you to do it on the street. Who's saying what's up to you? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. You're sad. You're happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like you curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe. Tap the little bell. Turn on the notifications. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.